Alan Flanagan. But this is about Kentucky's defense. John Calipari wants him to get more physical and tougher. Flanagan knocks down his first. Wagner, Onyenso, Mitchell, and Edwards. That was an alley-oop that was blocked. And Ole Miss with numbers. Matthew Morrell got it. Five quick ones out of the gate for Ole Miss. Ole Miss switching exchanges and screens out top. They'll switch one through four. Edwards banks in a pull up. He trying to put a little bit more pressure on the ball. They want to turn Ole Miss into drivers with the exception of Flanagan. That's his game to drive. CC blocked by Onyenso at point eight to go on the shot clock. CC, but in the country, had eight blocks in that game against Florida. There's Reeves. There's four on the shot clock. Edwards looked up, then he fired. Got it. Well, when he plays with pace, he looks a heck of a lot better. Good pass. Great pass, another block on Yenso. Second of the night. Edwards aggressive, throws it up, and he got it. Well, when he plays with pace, he looks a heck of a lot better. Good pass. Great pass, another block on Yenso. Second of the night. Edwards aggressive, throws it up, and he got it! And at the end of a shot clock and here in transition, the nice spin took the contact, never took his eyes off the rim and completed the play. That's a really nice play by the freshman. Onyenso came out to set a ball screen, just ghosted right out of it, opened up the middle for that drive. Flanagan hard to the rack, that may have been bothered by Onyenso. Marion Sharp into the game at seven foot five inches tall, and Dillingham for the second time loses the basketball. Boy, and that's where Kentucky is usually most dangerous. I don't think Ole Miss can put Kentucky in enough ball screens. Test their ability to guard ball screens. Got a switch here. They do have a switch, and that was just a massive body underneath and Sharp that helped open up that lane. They've got to defend more physically and rebound. Three quarter rattles in it, drops for Morrell. Morrell had an opportunity, and now he slices through. And now he's wide open. And that time he knocked it down. Within Canada, it's a group that got us flowing, and we have a real connection as Onyenso flushes it. Really good pass too from Wack. Shepard dynamite down the stretch against Gonzaga. Wow. <laughs> Antonio Reeves just threw it up and it went off the window. The second bank shot of the night for Kentucky. Already Kentucky has been more active defensively. They haven't been perfect, but they've been more active. There's a good pass, and that time Cisse was able to dunk it over on Yenso. Reeves and Shepard on the bench for Kentucky. The roll and another turnover. And right away, Calipari goes back to Shepard and a dunk on the other end from Flanagan. Not up to touch there to help. And then after the turn of missed shots to the opponent on offensive boards, that's last in the SEC. Cisse, Onyenso's third block tonight. The easy basket, and both Cisse and... Dillingham has got three turnovers in the game. He's likely to be taken out here for Shepard Mitchell, also set to come in. Fierro denied at the rim by Cisse. Handful of open threes tonight. Yeah, Kentucky was very fortunate there. That was just over help. Wagner kicks, Shepard wide open. Money. Well, this has been a different Kentucky team as far as defensive effort has been concerned. They're not perfect, but they're oh. working harder. How about that shot by Jamie Brakefield? And Kentucky's yet to grab an offensive rebound. Now, they haven't missed that many shots either. They've shot it well, but they've just turned it over too many times. Morrell off the That's roll, good. knocks it down. Now Morrell's already in double figures. He's got 11 points, and Ole Miss 8-1 and one when he scores in double figures in the first half. Reeves, that ball is blocked. Seven foot five, sharp. Early three taken by Murray is off. Shepard long three. Boy. Give him an inch, and he will take it all. Good dump off there, and Sharp tried to jam it, and he missed. Shepard the other way. That's a goaltend. Got the switch now, and Yenso on Breakfield. And Mitchell on Sharp. Breakfield denied. On Yenso picks up 
Another block. Good second effort. Now watch how he goes up, but he yeah, he was still standing on the ground. Now you got Murray on Mitchell. Reeves goes to the corner. High arcing three is good. A smart play by Reed Shepard and got it right to him. Proud to its feet. Cats up by one. Another block this time. Bradshaw, who's in the game. And how about this block by Aaron Bradshaw? That well, Cam Brent is a terrific kid. His dad coached at Arkansas Pine Bluff, and Cam wants to be an agent someday. Another steal. Just a tough pass for Sharp to catch. Reeves, the quick pull up. Nobody better in the country than Reeves at that shot. He's back down now by Flanagan. Oh, got a friendly roll here on the road in Flanagan. Last two games, averaging 23, and he's 17 of 30 from the field over his last two. The floating game is working for Reeves. He knocks down another one. Murray with three. There's the hands of Shepard again. And here he comes. He's got Reeves with him. There's Edwards to pick up the miss. A little more than two minutes to play with Kentucky up by seven. Going to the same play. And a dish down low to Bradshaw as Sharp came over to double. Well, almost another turnover for Kentucky. Unusual for the Wildcats. That's a good pass there by Wagner to Mitchell. Up and under and in! If Kentucky gets a score here, they've got the possession arrow, so they get the ball to start the second half. Boy, Reed Shepard worked his way into a terrific, easy pass. And that will do it at the half. Wagner, four assists in the game, only one turnover. And he got in the paint there, he hits a floater. That was pretty. Now, this is a terrific crossover. Just getting right into the lane and a little floater right over. Good pass. Down low on Yenso. Give him credit for his eighth block. That one on Flanagan. They keep going in the paint and a little floater from Murray falls. 12 point lead for the Cats, who've lost three in a row and a bad pass and a turnover. And an easy flush, loud from Brakefield. Wagner with five on the shot clock. He falls down, kicks it to the corner. Three no good, and the box out leads to a run out. And they got two on none. Laid up and in by Morrell. Calipari says, I need a timeout. Aggressive ice cream eater. It's not quite the uh, how many licks does it take to yes. get to a Tootsie Pop. It, right. It's a little more than three, but it, mine's gone quickly. Shepard, tough pull up there on the elbow. And he also reminded them, we want to play in transition, even on made baskets, try to stay away from old Miss set defense. Dillingham and Shepard back into the game. Give Jalen Murray the bucket. And that's going to get some switches. That's how you go over on Yenso. Cisse with a jump shot. Drop off when there's penetration. Fierro threw it up and it ends up in the hands of Edwards who gets it to Dillingham who fires a three. That'll work. Pair of seven footers on the blocks and here comes on Yenso with a high screen and roll. And it up. Well, he didn't even set the screen. That was just a ghost. So Jamarian Sharp at 7-5 back into the game for Ole Miss. And Morrell, difficult shot, finds the bottom of the net. Flanagan on Shepard, takes him, and how about the hands of Shepard again? But Flanagan went right into his chest, and Shepard still able to knock it away. Hesitation move by Shepard by Sharp. Murray dishes it sharp. That ball was blocked by Onyenso. Murray dishes it sharp. That ball was blocked by Onyenso. Here's the arrow. Hard to the hole. Oh, wow. And a wow. clean block from behind by Flanagan. To give all the credit to, to Flanagan. He just timed it out and got it right up top. Clean block. What a great play. Kentucky player in a single game all time. Maryland's Noel, his number is in jeopardy as Shepard. Feathery three.
building is now alive. Oh, Flanagan high in the air over Shepard. Good pass. Great pass and using that basket as a defense mechanism. Reeves puts it up and in. That's what the expectations are. Calipari will tell you all the time. That's why we get criticized the way we do. Dillingham right in front of him knocks down a three. By Reed Shepard to draw the defense, and then he's got the presence to know where his teammates are to kick it out to Dillingham. They got their largest lead of the night. Brakefield needed that. That's a three. Listed as questionable the rest of the night. Dillingham turns the corner and then uses the ball fake and the swan to finish. Flanagan one on one with Fierro backs in. Breakfield on the baseline. No, that was Reed Shepard. They set up Reeves. Sets too easy. Antonio Reeves. He is set to come in. Shepard throws it up in the air. Bradshaw has got a height advantage and he goes right up and over Allen Flanagan for two. A couple of misses at the rim here by Kentucky. Allow Ole Miss to hang around. Good pass. Nunez. There you go. Great point, Matt. Boy, Morrell was wide open on the right. Nunez missed him. Great field. Body blocked there. Bradshaw. Wow. I'm a Dodger fan, so this. They will, like, they will not be eliminated at any point during the season. Well, there's been nothing available at the rim because of the shot block presence. Plenty available at the rim. That time is Dillingham and Onyenso connect. You know, your league affiliation really matters when you get in the committee room. It doesn't. It's just your individual resume that matters. Fierro will take that. That'll send the crowd home pretty happy. But it's not like somehow if you're declared the best league, you're right. automatically going to get more teams in than the league. It doesn't work that way. Right. Cisse on wow. Yenso right over him That's and down. Well, he's got seven or eight rebounds yep. as a guard. Seven rebounds, 15 points. Dillingham, as we're under a minute, gets it to Reeves. That floater was deflected on Yenso. Had it. Farrow, four seconds on the clock. Shepard fires. No. Old Miss, you mentioned their opportunities. I mean, I think this is a good basketball team. I think Chris Beard in his first year has done a really good job with this group. And when they stay on script, they're really good. That's good by